Here we are, January 2001, and we're playing the halftime show in front of almost a billion people. It was one of those gigs that were so big, and, and um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you've made it when. Let me just tell you, backstage, it is a zoo, and it's uh, mayhem, and it's everything is just barely comes off, and, you know, everything is down to the last second. Oh, man, a big game at halftime. It's, you got to get it right. You got uh, there's no second takes. The whole thing had to be up and down in six minutes. Set up, playing, and tear down. We do rehearsals the day before. It's just an incredible thing that it comes off. And a bunch of stuff didn't work. You know, and you're like, whoa. You just turn around and ask your wife, what happened? We love it, you know, that after all these years of staying together, we get to do stuff that we never dreamed we would do. When we did it, uh, there wasn't, a, uh, as far as I know, a single glitch. A real magic show, um, in a sense that um, we did Walk This Way and everybody, everybody was involved. The fact that, that, uh, that Walk This Way was chosen to be the, the vehicle that we were all going to play together was a, uh, again, a, a uh, a testament to the to the power of that song. When we started out as musicians, music and sports did not go together. I don't know if anybody saw this or not, but at the Super Bowl halftime, Ben Stiller, Adam Sandler, and Chris Rock took us down into the basement, and we did this quick little little shtick where at the end, if my lips and jowls look really big the way I'm drawn in this game, it's because. Adam Sandler, one of them, grabbed my mouth and stuck their fist down it. And it was, he had to be there.